makeover home edition continues. Lori will be missed, but she'll never be forgotten. A daughter's dream. To build a home for her parents. And her best friend's vow. If something happened to one another, we would take care of each other's family. The design team is determined to make both come true. Everyone that was involved with this project this week was inspired by her. Lori's purpose must have been to bring everybody together in harmony. And honor the spirit of warriors past and present. It's long overdue that we tell this story and bring to light their heroic contribution. This has been the most emotional week of my life. There's more. Open for business. Extreme Makeover Home Edition, right now. Lori Paestua is the daughter of a veteran and the granddaughter of a veteran. And she wanted to follow in her family's footsteps. And she was in Iraq, and her roommate was Jessica Lynch. They made a pact to one another that if anything should happen to either one of them, they would come back home and take care of, of that other person's family. It was a promise that I had made to Lori, and I'm going to keep that promise. Jessica and Lori were part of a convoy, and they were ambushed. Jessica eventually was rescued. However, Lori wasn't quite as fortunate. Lori was actually the first woman to die in the line of service in Iraq. Lori was basically raising her two kids as a single mom. Our dream was to get money and come back and build a house for her parents so she could live in with her kids. We're going to do this for Lori. It was Lori's wish, so. I'm here in the storage bins that we have on site, and I have to catalog all the memorabilia that goes into Lori's room. These are all gifts that were given to the family from neighboring tribes, from the government, all things that honor Lori. There's just so much stuff. This is uh, photos of Lori when she was at Fort Bliss, right before she was deployed. Some of these are family photos. Well, I think I found one of the focal points of our room. A lot of this are letters my family would like to express our deepest sympathy to your family for one of the greatest sacrifices. Jim and Cindy, proud Americans. You know, all this stuff is really meaningful. I can find the things that are truly pertaining to Lori, to her life, to her service, so that when you go into this room that is Lori's, you're able to really sit and reflect on her life. going? Going good. So I called the family while they were down at Disney World, and I know how much Carla is into, you know, princesses, and I wanted to give her kind of a dream come true. Hi, Ty. Hey, Carla. You remember when you and I were hanging out in your room, and you told me that you were really into princesses? Yeah. Well, listen, I've got some friends that should be coming by right now. I had a couple of friends of mine go by and say hi. Can you tell me what you see? Cinderella. That's right. Cinderella. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I had um, Cinderella and the little prince guy come by and like hang out with Carla and she got to be a princess for a day, which was kind of nice. Right, it's day six. Family comes home tomorrow and this is really when I need to kick it into gear. All these pieces you see here are the frame that'll make this bed. Basically what we'll see here is kind of a, a framework, a little glass coach because it'll be see-through fabric that we're doing there. Since it's so big, and we'll never fit this through the door, I've made it in sections. So this will come off, all of these come apart. When I get in the room, I'm gonna assemble everything there, add the fabric, and uh, pretty much lock myself in there till the family comes home, because it's gonna take me a while. In Arizona, there's two constants, sunshine and wind. So we installed solar panels and a wind turbine for the family to basically collect energy. When they're not using the electricity, we're looking at the meter going backwards. And that's what we're trying to do here, keep prices down. We had a little bit of a competition going. We're getting more energy out of the wind than I think you're getting on the solar panels on the roof, to be honest with you. Well, I'll tell you what, I got more power coming here through my solar panels than you do through your wind panel. Eduardo, flip the switch. See what I'm saying? We're kicking some watts over here. The wind is making it happen, buddy. I'm sorry, Ty. I can't hear you. I got them good. So there you have it. We've got the sun and the wind. That is basically in Arizona every single day. And we're using both of those to save about two-thirds of the utilities for the Piestawa family. It's unbelievable. It's the first time ever in Arizona. And I'm just glad we can be part of that.
using nature's elements and making it work for the good. Usually we're a part of something that gives something back to a family. Me and Preston this week, we've been a part of something that has given something back to a whole community. On our veteran complex, we're going to put a hogan. A hogan is a Navajo ceremonial building. It's a cleansing place. The Indians feel they need to do cleansing after battle. If you survive in battle, you're still damaged in a way, in spirit. War veterans from the Iraq war can come back and actually cleanse their spirit in the Hogan. Basically, the pattern that, that we work with in terms of building a Hogan, you always have a starting point, which is the entryway. Then we continue that all the ways around. To make this Hogan correctly and properly, we're using all Navajo men to build it. We're doing everything correct according with tradition, and it's going to serve the veterans of this war right now. So it's coming out wonderful. Weighs a little. You guys, unbelievable. You guys have been busy. Well, I called the guys at Sears. You guys remember Bob Weir, right? Preston, how are you? How are you? So the project in Tuba City was going fairly well. The problem was it didn't really have any appliances. So I called my friends over the Sears American Dream campaign. They've helped us out before, and they really came through on this one. These guys not only hooked the veterans up with brand new appliances, but they also got basically clothing for the entire reservation. Sears brought you $335,000 worth of new oh, yeah. men's, women's, and children's merchandise. We're going to outfit every family on the reservation. So let's unload. Let's do it. Of well, course. Nice All right, man. These are people that are still struggling because they're living on the reservation. and. I think we kind of owe it to, to do something. I feel a little like Santa Claus. So we started there right before sunset and worked giving out clothes into the night. Here, Derek. Whoa, yes. Wear those new clothes to school and look, look your best, OK? OK, very good. Oh, that's so sweet of you. The reactions of the families as we handed out clothing, you can imagine, it was a surprise. They were so grateful. It was a beautiful thing. Oh, that's it. What's For Bria, see. Is that you, Bria? Oh, wow. All I can say is, good job, Sears American Dream Campaign. You guys, once again, came through to help us out. Coming up. As many Native Americans believe that spirits are carried in the wind, well, the wind arrived with the veterans. Now, when I cut this ribbon, the Veterans Affairs Complex will officially be open. So here we go. It's now open for business. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. I'm working on a room that I think is the most important room in the house. It's Laurie's room. Hey, Connie! Hi, Ty. Hi, Jessica. Hi. So Jessica's got some pretty cool stuff she actually got from Fort Bliss. The Army had shipped them to Jessica, and she wanted to give them back to the family, but I think it had been kind of hard for her to do that. And I think she felt this was the right time. So I brought some items that were shipped from my home really? that me and Lori had in our room at Fort Bliss. All the memorabilia, all the pictures, all of the awards, the medals, the plaques that she earned, the gifts that the family received in remembrance of Lori, those are all going in this room. Is that like her blanket? Yes, um, this is the blanket she had on her bed before we deployed. Okay. This family believes that Lori is still with them, and I want this room to embrace that. Jessica, thank you so much, man. You've, you've helped out in so many ways. So Connie, you got your work cut out, man. I know it's gonna be awesome, but make sure this stuff goes in her room, okay? All right, we gotta get back to it. This week has been about honor, and it's about respecting people that sacrifice a lot for each other and for this country. As many Native Americans believe that spirits are carried in the wind, well, the wind arrived 
with the veterans. I've never seen winds like I saw out here. The actual reveal day was unbelievable. And amongst the tributes in the procession was a riderless horse. And the riderless horse symbolized all of the fallen warriors that haven't made it back from, from battle. The Native American war veterans, their contribution to our country is something we can never reciprocate properly. And they've had a bum deal out of it. They've had a real bum deal out of it and things could have been a lot different if we never had them. It's our job to take care of those people. Any Native American war veteran that served has always had to go somewhere else to a hotel or something to have their conventions or gatherings of any kind. Now they finally have one place, albeit humble and small right now. They now have their own place where they can all gather. Affairs Complex will officially be open. So here we go. It's now open for business. The building on the inside is so comforting. It's peaceful, it's not chaotic, it's very spare. But it's not a place to dwell on and, and, and be sad. It's a, it's a place to remember the people and to celebrate. You know, the fact that they're still with us. How you doing? Hello. Thank you, guys. It's been an experience for an Englishman like me to be here. It was one of our best efforts in a three-day span. What we did there is something I'm proud of. We went to every single room, the media room. We took them through the main reception area, the kitchen, the bathroom, the two offices, and the conference room at the other end. Look at this. America Online has now given the war veterans free computers and free membership and high-speed internet so now they can communicate so easily that's your son yeah, i'm very happy i think it's something that should have been done a long time ago and i'm just glad that i could be part of it but what made me go big time was when um this native american guy he pulled out basically it's an iraqi banknote and he said to me i want you to have this are you serious? Yeah. He said, but you see all the signatures on it? And I said, yeah, yeah. He said, yeah, they're all my friends that actually made it home. You Are they were. Native American soldiers? Native American soldiers from Blanding. So they came back and they wanted to come back and give that to you. Thank you, man. He gave it to me with tears in his eyes and um, gave me a big hug and said, thank you. Thank you. And I just went to a gentleman to blubber and wreck because it just made me go big time. So this is, uh, and he was gone. As soon as he was there, he was gone. I thought I got emotional when my little boy was born, but this has been the most emotional week of my life. Didn't know his name, didn't know who he was, but he thought enough of me for the work I'd done to give me something like that. Can you give me a couple of minutes, man? There were so many Native American people there thanking me for doing this for them. My brother served in Vietnam, and this is just what we needed. Don't you start me off again. I've just stopped. Thank you. Yeah, it's been an honor. Oh, thank you. When we watched their faces and their gratitude and the things they said, it was so moving. Um, you couldn't talk to any single veteran without them in their eyes conveying to you what it meant and what they'd been holding inside of them. You're always welcome here. I'll be back, don't you worry. The day was moving and no one wanted it to end. Do you sign it for me? I don't want to leave. Thank you so much. You don't realize what this has done for us. There were some tears, there were some smiles, and there's, in the end, a lots of laughter because so many people came together to make a really beautiful thing happen. And when you see right there in the center and you see the different flags flying of the different nations, it makes you just think about this country and think about how many people died in the service of this country. So our tribute in stone, it read, in honor of all Native Americans who committed and sacrificed their lives defending the ideals of freedom in the United States of America. 
And all I can say is, you and Preston did an amazing job in the complex, Thanks, man. There's one last thing I need you to do. You guys were in charge of getting the horse. Which was a gift to the family from the Arapahoes. I gotta get back to the house. You and Preston handle the horse. So as Ty took off in the helicopter, he told Ed and I to bring Arapaho Star with us. Okay, so we're finished with Trooper City. We gave the veterans a new complex. It turned out amazing. Now we're headed back to Flagstaff to finish up the Piazza House. So let's kick it into gear to go to flying home. Coming up. What's going on? So did you guys bring a rap star? Hi, boy. Hey, buddy. Shall we bring him out and put him in the corral? Let's get him in there. Cool. That horse is a Mustang. He's a little edgy, if you know what I'm saying. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. She's it, man. I asked him. You're going to be kidding me. When Ed and I returned with a rap star, wow. What a home. Go away for five days, man, and they build a house that big. I kind of now know what a family feel like. What's going on? So did you guys bring Rappaho Star? We did. He's following us behind. Oh, fantastic. Hi, boy. Hey, buddy. Man, he is beautiful. Shall we bring him out and put him in the corral? Let's get him in there. Cool. All right. That horse is a Mustang that's three years old. It's a young stud male. How chilled out, um, how chilled out will he be? He's a little edgy, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, buddy. Somehow Carla is able to tame the beast. I would ride him, but to be honest with you, he makes me a little skittish. And I can't believe a five-year-old can ride that thing, and I can't. But then again, I really don't want to get bucked. Not right now. So Paul, well, he needed some help. So I called in some experts. Let me just show them that uh, that Apollo is every bit as good as a, a, a brick. He took the little tiny bricks, fashioned them larger, Gave him a new name. They're now Paulos. What do you think? Yeah. Huh? Whoa. What do you guys got done? These guys are like craftsmen when it comes to small bricks. Look at these lamps. These will go on, on Brandon's table right next to his bed. And then they're using all of the bricks for drawer pools. I've never seen such cool structures made by so many, you know, really caring people. It was an awesome thing. They just never really grow up. Last night, a lot of good things happened. One thing that happened that's really cool is our hardwood floor went down. And new countertops. Stack stones going up on our fireplace here. Indian River slate is all down. We got fridges, stoves, washer and dryers. Some colors terracotta, which matches what we're doing here in Arizona. And it, it's good to see these things going in because that means construction's just about done. We'll be able to start moving in furniture later on tonight. So it's all good here. What we're doing right here is we're paying homage to a traditional Native American craft, and that is the basket weave. And we're using copper. We take the copper, cut it in strips. This is going in the dining room. We're making a 10 foot by 10 foot basket weaving like this. And as soon as this is done, we actually fire this to create the patina. I'm taking care of the grand room and the kitchen and all of the common areas, but I'm also taking care of a really fun room, and that's a playroom for Brandon and Carla. And I've always wanted to do one of those ball pits. Time to start loading them in. One, two. So three, I'm building four. the biggest, baddest ball pit you've ever seen. It's the night before the family comes home when we got three truckloads of furniture ready to move furniture into the house. The question is, is the house ready to move furniture into? What's all that about? I just want to thank you guys for an absolutely heroic effort. We brought the dream of Lori Piastawa to reality. Without people like you, there's no way we could get this done. So thanks. Are you guys there? The house is finished? Yeah. 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 Now all I got to do is find a bunch of big movers to move some furniture in. This guy's built a fantastic house. But then it was time for me to find like some really big movers to help move it, this furniture into the house. Well, I did something kind of cool. I actually called the Arizona Army National Guard. Wait, you got anything on the roof? So people, I got the Army National Guard. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Jessica, you know how to give some orders, right? Well, these guys know how to follow orders. So do me a favor. Give these guys the order to move furniture in this house. Let's do it. All right, people, let's start moving some furniture in the house! Yes. 
She's been there all week, just helping us out, and she wanted to make sure, you know, we got this thing perfect. Come on, come on, come on! Let's Straight go. Ahead. And to hear her scream through the megaphone was just a blast. Let's move it! Like, let's do it. Eh, not so much. So this is how you use the megaphone. You want to crank it up as far as it'll go. Let's load in some furniture! I did actually learn a lot of stuff this week. <laughs> Try it on Michael, go ahead. Michael, let's load! It's got to come up from here. Mm -hmm. Michael, let's go! It feels good, doesn't it? It does. Come on, let's move it! I want to sit down! on fire! Dog's on fire. Ty. <laughs> let's move it! Come on! I want your DR! I think Ty is very nice. It's going to be a... It's going to be a... Say that again, sister! I'm gonna be crazy after this. So our family comes home tomorrow and uh, the wind's really blowing. And uh, that means to the Hopi that uh, the spirits are coming. And I don't think it's just the Hopis that are coming. I think it's the Navajos, it's fallen veterans, it's everybody. It's just a lot of people are really coming to see what's gonna happen tomorrow. So uh, bring it on, keep coming, keep coming. Okay, that's probably good. All right, that's really good. I think you did good there. Right, we got a full house, I'm sorry. Just ahead. Boss driver, move that bus! Oh my God! Maury's purpose must have been to bring everybody together in harmony because this is just awesome. That's next on Extreme Makeover, Home Edition. never really actually lived in a house. Very simple people who are happy with whatever they have. And I think it's just awesome that we could give them something they've never, ever had. Welcome home, Piastri! Hey, Terry! Hey, how are you doing? Hey, Jessica's here. Hi there, Florida. How are you? Hey, what's happening? Hey, hey. Oh, so good to see you. Actually, it was a lot of mixed emotions. I wasn't sure what to expect. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. It's kind of overwhelming, but it was a good feeling to know that we were blessed with all the people who were there. It was just amazing to know that that many people care about us and love our family and are in support of what was happening. It was awesome to see. It was, it was very heartwarming. Now, when you guys left, you're living in a trailer on reservation property that wasn't yours. We wanted to make Lori's dream happen and give you guys a house, could honor Lori in, and also Brandon and Carla could grow up in. Yes. Well, I think when you see what's behind that bus, you realize how special it really is. Five acres oh. on the most beautiful land I've ever seen. <laughs> you know that our hearts are with you guys, and our hearts are with Lori. Thank you. And in fact, I think her spirit has been with us all week. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blowing right through. Yeah. Yes, she has. <laughs> yeah. I just had that moment that I just knew that Lori was around. This is all happening because of her. And, uh, and so I didn't know what to feel at that moment. Oh, yeah. Guys, ready to see your new house? Yeah. Yes. Well, then you know what's about to happen. Well, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. We're ready. Bus driver, move that bus! Yes. We pulled the bus out of the way. I didn't know what what kind of expression to give because it it's it's just an awesome feeling that things were happening to you. Oh, jeez! 
it's just an awesome thing to experience. Oh, man. God. Oh, God. The dream true. The design team, all Hi. seven of them. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh. The Paesta was, they were hugging everyone. And when they finished hugging you, they would hug you again. These people are so appreciative. We could have built them anything, and they would have been thrilled. They're warm, and they're loving, and this whole week has been the best possible. I don't think I've ever heard a family say thank you so many times. That all of a sudden, the wind started blowing stronger than it had the entire week. The mom and dad with the kids, with Jessica and Lori just blowing through, everyone was there. The memory of this project and the efforts of people to help the Piestas and bring light to Lori and others is a memory that can live now for millions of people. We wanted to make sure we faced the house toward the east. Uh -huh. Thank you. So you guys are greeted by good spirits and the sun every morning. Great. Thank you. So let me ask you this. Would you like to see the inside of your house? Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> well, then what do you say yeah. we go check it out? Okay, let's do it. I really didn't know what to expect. We had no idea what kind of building that they were going to make us. The doors were big, and I was just in awe. Oh, man! <laughs> that little patio there, and they had that fireplace going. I said, oh, man, this is nice. Do me a favor. Walk through that door. We felt so humbled to just to get what we were going to get. And it didn't matter what it looked like or, or, or what type of material that was in there. Whatever we were going to get, we were going to get. And what we got was just awesome. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, yes. Look at this house. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Beautiful, you guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, man. Not only can you feel the physical stuff, but you can feel how much love they put into the house. You can just feel the love. Come on! Oh, oh my look at that. There's all your hornets. There he is. Oh, you there. guys. <gasps> Grandma, look at the kitchen. Look how big it is. It's absolutely huge. I think this room is even bigger than the trailer you left back <laughs> in Duba City. Yeah. Here's the deal, not only in this room, but throughout every room in this house, the ceilings are a whopping 12 feet high. Whoa. Yeah. This house will always welcome people. Oh, always. Thank you. It will always be an open house to everybody. It's, it's just awesome that so many people, there's so many loving, caring people in the world. You always hear all the bad things that happen in the world and you don't see enough of something like this. The beautiful, caring people like you, like Jessica, who are willing to put their lives on the line for all of us. And then come back again to honor a pact that she made with her friend. And the diversity of the ethnic backgrounds, all the people out there, all of you, Lori's purpose must have been to bring everybody together in harmony because this is just awesome. Just awesome. God, you're a wonderful woman. Just amazing. Just ahead. This is beautiful, you guys. Too awesome. That's next on Extreme Makeover, Home Edition. Well, here's what happens next. You go check out the rest of your house. Go check it out. Oh, my goodness. A princess room. Carla is so beautiful and so amazing. She's Have a crystal. good day, Grandma. She's been through so much. I just wanted to give her the best. The bed was so pretty. Can you get grandma's over here? Yeah. She loved it. She couldn't be any happier. She's going to have a ball. Let's go in that door. Oh, what is this? Look at all your princess clothes. New shoes. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh, look at come here, Grandma. Come here. Come here. Princess clothes. Princess clothes. Gosh. 
She loves all the princess things. She's a princess herself. This is just beautiful. Do you love it? I love it. Thank you, Paige. Oh, I'm in heaven. Oh my gosh, Brandon, what is this? Everything's made out of Legos. It was brick by brick by brick by brick. There must have been like over 40,000 bricks in there. Oh, on the wall, on your dresser, on your bed. Oh, so cool. He's going to enjoy that place. I moved that bus. <gasps> Grandma, look it. Oh. There's a hole in the mouth. Oh, you have a mouth in there. I think that is so awesome because it is going to oh. help his creativity. My own computer. I always thought maybe it was too young for one, but I guess not. <laughs> this room rock. I really, really love my room. Okay, so who's ready to see some more house? Me, me. Whoa. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a play world. It's a play world. I scared the kids to death, but after that we got into like this big, like, you know, plastic ball war. So check it out, there's balls everywhere. 27,000 balls. 27,090 of them! The ball pit was so cool. <laughs> wow, look oh, at this! this. Neat, huh? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't open this up, guys. Oh! More balls! There's not just balls in there! That is one exciting place for the kids. You guys are exceptional people. I'm in awe of your spirit and your courage and what you guys have been through. Well, I made your bedroom my secret project. So do me a favor, go take a look. Okay. Whoa. Oh, how pretty. Oh, gosh, look at this. My master bedroom was awesome. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh man. Gosh. Oh, man, it's really something. Oh, oh this is more than a dream come true. It's still like a dream. I'm sure it's going to be like a dream for a long time. Ty, this is beautiful. I'm 57 years old, and this is the first time that I will actually be living in a real house. I sleep on the floor anymore. <laughs> Ty has learned a lot about the native culture. My gosh, he put in the different artifacts to represent a lot about us. This is just amazing. You did a lot of learning and a lot of studying. All week has been a learning uh, experience for everyone. We've learned so much about so many different other cultures. And together, we can all make life a little easier, a little better, and great things can happen when you work together. So guys, there's one last room. Well, it's Lori's room. Now, your daughter was a hero. She sacrificed her life. Everyone that was involved with this project this week was inspired by her. And we were all touched. And Come on in, check it out. This is beautiful, you guys. This is too awesome. When you walk into this room, you have a sense of who Lori was in the life that she lived. Lori as a soldier, as a daughter, as a mother, as a friend. You just could go in there and just sit. You don't have to say anything, just, and just remember the memories. We can feel her energy and her spirit that's still with us in there. And, and it's so nice. This is 
just beautiful. Lori was such a, a great woman, and, and I think the room is, is, is just a great dedication to her. The kids, whenever they want, they can go in there and speak to their mom and just talk to her. Or just, you know, if they want, just go in there and cry. Carla, when she misses her mommy, she always says, I miss my mommy. And so we always tell her, well, remember the good things about your mom. And now we can bring them in and say, well, look, this is what your mommy was all about. This, this is, is what everybody thought of your mommy. So Look at this, kids. What do you think? This is your mommy's room. It's awesome. Look at mommy's grave. Yeah. Just the one big picture in the front tells the whole story. All these letters came from mommy. She lived a wonderful life. We didn't have a lot of material things, but she was able to do what she set out to do. And she came full circle. It's mommy's bed. Yes. And she's still making her dreams come true. She's still making things work out for us and for the kids. And we know that, that she'll be there the rest of our lives taking care of us. Just ahead. Lori right now is looking down on us and says, There you are. My wishes has come true for you. I wanted a house for you and my kids. And I know it has come true. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Guys. Go check out your backyard. Oh my gosh, look at all of this. <gasps> Whoa, look at this, that is cool. I had that little fire pit out there and look at everybody could just sit around in the summertime and just absorb mountain view during the daylight hours. Just to walk around and enjoy the scenery, the mountains, the oh. snow, the rain. All right, look at that. It's just one big picture and it's so beautiful. Who's talking to us? Rapaho Star! Rapaho! Hey, big guy. <laughs> he heard us. There's not any human on this planet that that horse will let ride, except little Carter. Your Rapaho Star's here. <laughs> I was a fearless little girl, just like her mom was. It was so beautiful to watch. When Carla saw the horse, those two have a very special bond. I can't believe the Rapid of Stars letting you ride it. Like, we put him in here, he's a little feisty. Yeah. He's, he's not even broken yet, but she's the only one that he'll allow to ride him. Can't believe Can that. It's so that? awesome. Look at him. How you doing? You like your new house? He's happy to see us, son. Yeah. I think a Rapid is really happy now. We got a new barn, a new oh, stable. This is fantastic. A perfect place for a beautiful horse. Yeah. Rappaho has a new house. Rappaho thinks it's awesome. Hi, Rappaho. So I told the family to put a Rappaho star away and to meet me over by the fire pit in the backyard. We're going to meet Bert Silva, Peter Shea, and Rob Pig from Shea Homes. The guys from Shea Homes, Bert Silva and Peter Shea, handed over the keys to the house. And then they did something amazing. I know that Lori is looking down on us today with a smile. Yes. Knowing that both of you and Brandon and Carla will be together in this beautiful home. You know, it's been a real honor for us to build this house for your family and for Lori. It was a final gift to you, to help you in the transition to your new home. The Shea family would like to give you $50,000. Oh, wow, thank oh. you. Boy, that's great. That's like it's just taken all this weight off of my shoulders, you know, because I, I don't have that financial burden of wondering how am I going to find a place for these babies to live. Lori right now is looking down on us. It's just... <laughs> there you are. My wishes has come true for you. I wanted a house for you and my kids, and I know it has come true. And I know she thanks you. She thanks you so, so much for giving us this beautiful place. In spirit, she's here, and we're gonna always miss her, and I know it's gonna be great. 
I mean, they're not going to lose sight of their mother ever, and I know it's going to be good. Thank you. You know, as we stand here and under this beautiful creation that God has given us, Father Sky, Mother Earth, Grandfather Son, God has created so many wonderful things for us. But not only that, He's also blessed us with friendship and love. You could just feel the love that they shared with us, the true feelings of emotions, of how Lori has touched them. How can it not be a blessing for everybody to be there working together for a common cause as one? And it, it would be so awesome if they can all go home and remember to continue loving their neighbors, continue to remember to love their families, continue to remember that we're all one. And if we can all learn to get along, the world will be such a happier, more blessed place. We're so humbled by all the wonderful, caring, loving people. And thank you just doesn't seem like enough. We're very, very grateful. Thank you very much. And that means thank you and hope. Air transportation provided by Southwest Airlines. Let's go, Eduardo. Let's plant some flowers. Let's get busy. Let's bring this family home. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Hold my head. Here, give me your head. I was really down here. I know. I, 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 I thought so.